What's up YouTube, my name is Kenneth. Today we have a mystery unboxing from Mefferts.com and Adam G. Cohen. And I was told by Adam that he was gonna have these puzzles sent to me from Mefferts, but he wouldn't tell me what they were. He wanted it to be a surprise. So anyway, um, I'm really excited to open it, so let's uh, see what's inside. Oh my goodness, look at all these puzzles. <laughs> Oh my, this is a little overwhelming, isn't it? My goodness, five puzzles. Um, I don't know what they are. They all feel like cubes, so that's one thing. Uh, I wonder if they're the same puzzles or if they're different or what. So let's open up this first one. <laughs> that's too funny, look at that. Well, what could it be? Hmm. He's got a lot of great designs that haven't been mass produced. I wonder what it is. I think there's one that a lot of people are excited about. Oh yeah, I know what it is. <laughs> wow, look at this. It's a golden ghost cube. How cool is that? Now, I thought that the Ghost Cube was a puzzle that wasn't ever going to be mass produced because each piece has to have its own mold, and so it would be very difficult to mass produce. But look at that. Wow, the gold actually looks really neat. It's so reflective that it, at certain angles it looks black. I wonder if the rest are all as all ghost cubes as well. Let's check this one. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, so this is the white ghost cube. Well, now we got to open all of them. Let's see what else we got. Here we have a silver or a metallic. I really like this color. Oh, we have another gold one, it looks like. Very nice. This one doesn't look uh, nearly as reflective as this gold one. You can see how one is very reflective and the other one is not. And let's see the last one. And uh, what is this one? Oh, a white body with black stickers. This is kind of how I picture the ghost cube to look. Wow, look at this. This is quite the set of ghost cubes. Uh, they are very attractive, aren't they? Oh my goodness, they look really nice. Uh, I'm just still kind of in shock. So let's play with this one. This one is, I think, the look that most people expect when they think of a ghost cube. So here it is. Um, let's go ahead and, and scramble this one up and we can kind of see what makes it so difficult. So as you scramble it, as you see, it does shape shift uh, quite wildly. And um, it, what makes it hard is that uh, it's hard to know what piece goes where. And so if there were colors on each side, it would be very helpful because you would know how to match each piece up. And so uh, that was what makes the uh, ghost cube so difficult. So I'm really looking forward to uh, you know playing with these and seeing if that is indeed the case. So it's been a couple days and I've had a lot of fun with these ghost cubes. One of my favorite things about the ghost cube is that it's really just a three by three mechanism. And so it's not that it's difficult to solve. I know how to solve it, but what's hard is you just don't really know where each piece belongs. And it's kind of like trying to solve a jigsaw puzzle, but upside down. You don't know where each piece goes. But uh, of course you know how to solve it. It solves like a three by three Rubik's cube. The other part that makes it hard is that its final solve state is in an off axis position. It's sort of like making the solve state on a Rubik's cube kind of like this. And so that's why when you, you pick up a ghost cube at first, it's hard to figure out kind of like what to turn because nothing wants to turn. So you pick it up and not the, it's off axis, it won't turn. So when you put it back on axis like this, then everything becomes turnable. So these two puzzles here are now kind of equivalent, except for this isn't in a solved state. 
So anyway, it's just a, a really cool puzzle. Um, and these puzzles were really uh, hard to get beforehand because you could only get very expensive ones. And so now that it's mass produced, it's now going to be much cheaper to get. And so that's what's really great about mass production. I asked Adam Cohen what, what changed and why, why are they uh, mass producing them now. And he said that the market has changed dramatically since uh, a couple of years ago when this puzzle was first uh, invented. And so back then it wasn't plausible to get a puzzle like this into mass production. But now it is. And so that's really great news. And, and that's kind of why we see so many puzzles out right now because the market uh, can uh, take those kind of puzzles and actually make them profitable. So it's really great that this puzzle is uh, is out and mass produced and um, you guys can definitely find a link in the description to where you can go buy one. I also heard from Adam that he uh, also sent these puzzles to Crazy Bad Cuber and I've been in contact with Dan and he uh, and I are having our videos come out at the exact same time so his video just came out as well so if you haven't seen his already go check out his and we've decided to make our videos both giveaway videos so in this video I'm actually gonna give away two of these puzzles I'm gonna give away uh, these two right here so definitely um, leave a comment and your first comment on this video will be your entry into my giveaway and then once you're done go check out Dan's video and he will be doing a giveaway as well and you have uh, kind of two chances to win actually four chances to win because he'll be giving away two as well so anyway the giveaway will last for 10 days and on March 18th the giveaway will be over at noon Pacific Standard Time uh, definitely check the description for all the rules of the giveaway and that's pretty much it anyway thanks to Adam and Uwe for sending these puzzles uh, I think they're really awesome definitely check them out thanks guys for watching and of course have a great day